All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to, be going to be going over the five best decks to play in the Theme Chronicle. If there's any decks that I have missed, and obviously there are tons of different decks that you can play, if there are any that you think are really, really good, please let it down below in the in the comments. Let us know uh, which ones we should have gone over. But uh, first up, we've got Zombies. This one is extra good because none of the cards in the new Zombie World Structure deck that recently came out are hit, like at all. None of them are hit. They're all... At fully available uh, also you actually if you complete the Sharon Nui chapter in Master Duel you actually get to you get a totally free Sharon Nui deck which includes uh, Sharon Nui's Solitaire and it also includes uh, Sharon Nui style Swallow Slash so you get two free cards on top of that obviously if you just bought that other deck you got it you get a ton of resources just to start which is really really awesome the one drawback to this deck is that you don't have Doom King Baller Druck that is it literally other than that the deck is essentially a full power you don't have Doom King other than that, you have everybody. Uh, the deck basically is like a synchro spam deck, and also it can do a lot of link summons. Uh, some cards lock you into zombies, but not everything, so you can still like keep spamming and spamming. It has a very like good, uh, it has a very good matchup against a lot of decks because it actually changes the attributes, and against decks where that matters, it can actually uh, hurt them significantly. Uh, so that is actually a pretty good aspect of the decks because it obviously has Zombie World. Also, if you happen to be playing against Monarchs, which I imagine would probably have some sort of large presence in this since one of the easier decks to make, uh, Monarchs actually have trouble playing against Zombie World because nothing can be tribute summoned except for Zombie Monsters. They only have one Zombie Monster, one two tribute Zombie Monster that they can actually summon. Uh, so I see this deck probably being pretty good and if you take out some of the cards, like if you take out like the Ready Fusions, Instant Fusion, stuff like that, uh, you can actually get this deck down and make it a pretty budget deck uh, because again, like I said, most of it is in the structure deck or in the absolutely free deck that you get just by playing the game so this is definitely deck number one uh, again this is probably i'm probably gonna like always with these events i'm going to be bouncing between a few different decks because i find using different decks in the event to be quite fun uh, but this is definitely one of the decks that i'm, I'm going to be playing in this event let's get over to the next one all right the next deck is danger dark world uh, this deck is another one that I'm very excited to play. It almost didn't get hit at all on this ban list. It's almost kind of crazy. Like, it's it's like you look at it, it's almost completely at full power. All of the dangers are in here because dangers just so happen to be one of the themes in... in yeah, they're, they're, the dangers are actually one of the themes. And thank God they didn't hit, like, Graph or anything. They literally did not hit Danger Dark World in any meaningful capacity. So this deck is essentially at full power. I like going... A little bit more second with this deck than first and focusing more on the level eights uh they didn't hit any of the chaos dragons they didn't hit like almost anything which is really really cool uh, but what's awesome about this deck again you can build it to go second or you can build it to go first and kind of like build a board appaloosa is at is fully legal in this saryuja is at one but it's like completely fully legal in this you can go first you can go second it's missing like the new dark world support obviously that came out in the tcg but other than that the deck is fairly fairly strong uh, again i didn't i'm not even playing lightning storms a lot of URs are actually fully available if you wanted to you could even play like a slower version with like morphing jar uh i, I could probably shoehorn in astral karibo but unfortunately uh, numeron dragon is not available for this event so you can't get like a cheap quick otk but there's a lot of cards like um sarge the fleur that's fully available the uh, fairy tale luna is fully available like stuff out of the eight axis deck is completely available uh, like i said astral karibo is fully available there's a lot of cool ways that you can make this even more going second than it already is but i like it kind of down the middle but danger dark world is at absolute full power it's probably the best it's been in a very long time because again they hit so many other decks uh, so that is deck number two all right, here we've got deck number three. This is actually B Troopers. B Troopers is actually a very, very strong uh, deck. It's mixed with battle loss, but it's basically just like an insect uh, spam slash insect. Uh, what is it called? Like an insect swarm deck. Uh, but yeah, you can play just a variety of different insect extenders. You can search max C, but it's a little bit complicated in this deck. Uh, but you can max out on hand traps if you want to. You have plenty of space to do whatever you want. Goki pulls a really good card. Uh, but B Troopers basically just spam out insects and uh, put on advantage. A lot of other B Trooper decks that I've seen, they don't really have like an end board of any kind that they don't really they don't really do much of anything. Uh, but in this particular build, uh, we're ending on Scary Moth and Cicada King. Uh, sometimes I can go into 
uh, not only the scary moth and the cicada king but i can also go into uh, the trap trick line which the trap trick line will allow you to get to floodgate trap hole and then of course you've got the bee trooper sting and fly which is their counter trap but basically if you want there's a combo on my channel if you just look up bee trooper on my channel uh, there is a combo and nothing what's good with this deck is nothing ever got hit so everything is fully playable and legal and also this deck has ready fusion ready fusion is really good in this deck because you can summon out the Ko koagar hercules and this card is really good as an extender it's basically just a free summon uh, for you in b troopers and then you can kind of get to either some of your synchro plays some of your um yeah, some of your synchro plays, the link plays, like it's just a free body, free insect body on board. And then of course we've got all the other stuff going on here in the extra deck. Uh, Cicada King is again one of our more important cards. All Mirage is important if we draw like Resonance. Uh, yeah, the Armor Horn or Double Summon, and then the Papillion and the Giant Beetle invincible atlas but yeah this deck is fairly good it, it can put up a decent amount of interruptions it's not quite as strong in reg in the regular meta but what's awesome about this ban list is like sword soul and despia and all of that stuff is basically gone so all of like the tier zero tier one decks not really tier zero but tier one decks are all gone and this deck being a rogue deck can actually step forward and and and, and finally be able to do something because it doesn't usually do enough in the meta game but in this particular ban list since everything got hit it actually does uh quite a bid in this particular metagame so definitely give this deck a try uh, on to the next deck all right the next deck is pure crusadia so pure crusadia is actually a going second kind of otk deck the entire deck basically revolves around crusadia equimax this card gains attack combined gains attack equal to the combined attack of all monsters this card points so you can basically kaiju your opponent make that kaiju increase this card's attack and then you can put a bunch of monsters underneath it and this guy can have an outrageous amount of attack and then you contribute a crusadia monster and then target a face-up monster and it control your opponent controls negate its effects this guy is outrageous he gains an unreal amount of attack and you basically just otk your opponent that way uh, yeah it's basically a going second kaiju deck you interrupt them obviously you play a couple of hand traps the whole point again is just to go into crusadia avermax it's kind of like a crusadia kaiju deck uh, we play Gamma Seal. We should probably beef up the amount of Kaijus in this deck, but I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, we've got Parallel Exceed, Thunder King, the Lightning Kaiju. This is also the Kaiju, one of the Kaijus that you can uh, drop on your opponent's side of the field. It's 3,300 attack, but it doesn't matter how much attack it has because it'll just make Crusader Equimax stronger. Because again, when you Kaiju your opponent, you can pick where the monster gets to go, which is really awesome. Nibiru is also very good in this deck because you can uh, Nibiru your opponent and then you can choose again where the token actually gets put and sometimes that token can have an unbelievable amount of attack you place that token make it point to the crusadia put it in attack mode and just attack over it uh, then we've got harpies monster reborn reinforcements to search uh the uh, uh this guy not, not this guy i'm sorry search the arborea that's what i meant to say arborea is the tuner but again, we don't really go into Christron plays or anything like that. But yeah, Arborea, Reinforcements, World Legacy Succession is the free monster reborn. Uh, Revival is also very, very good uh, for us. And then, of course, this one is the one that makes everything your monster unaffected by everything. So it essentially makes it so you are guaranteed to OTK with Crusadia A for Max. Uh, but the deck, again, is very strong. It's a going second deck. There's a few different going second decks in this event that are really, really good, which is kind of interesting because, uh, in general, going second in Yu-Gi-Oh! can be a little bit rough because obviously you're playing with established boards. But they have hit so many different things on this ban list that actually this deck is quite strong you just again you go second you have back row removal available to you in the form of uh, twin twisters and and harpies feather duster you have easy back row removal in that way you also can play lightning storm if you really wanted to like there's so many good going second options for this deck if they summon something that's large unaffected you just kaiju you over that and then you just attack everything they have with crusadia avermax and you win the game it's a super easy super fast way to play this might actually be one of the best decks to play uh just because again it's just so so the games go by so quick like your turn you're never gonna have a 30 minute turn because it's like you go second if you can otk your opponent great if you can't scoop move on to the next game and again it's an event it's not one of those like it's not a ranked ladder like previous events that we've had like the link event you just if you can't win the game just w just do your best and move on uh so crusadio is definitely one of the better decks available to you in this event 
All right, the last deck I'm going to be showing you guys today is Orcus. Orcus is a mid-range combo deck uh, that actually plays on your opponent's turn. It it, it actually ha had quite a bit of help on the last few ban lists. Uh, Galatea went to two, which is really cool. Uh, Harpoor is somewhere around here. He's at two. Unfortunately, Gearsu is at one, but this deck has a really, really high like ceiling. And again, it can play on your opponent's turn. It has a really good out to essentially everything, which is the Ding Gearsu, the Orcus. Um, XYZ monster and you can basically cheat this thing out with Galatea so you never actually have to play any rank 8s or anything like that uh, yeah this this thing gets summoned through other means uh, but the deck is actually kind of good it has a lot of very very strong um, uh, has a lot of very strong combo starters which is really awesome uh, but we play uh, the scrap the scrap engine in it uh, which basically gets to our machines very very quickly and then of course we play a variety of dangers and dark refer and armageddon knight because all of those things basically put dark monsters into the graveyard for us which is extremely helpful like i said dangers that we play the best dangers the ones that almost always guarantee the special summon of a danger and then we play some of the bigger ones just for easy back row removal stuff like that and also you can make ding Gearsu with these guys up here too and then of course just a bunch of generic staples uh, their draw spell is really good and it's searchable. Babel is the most important card in the entire deck. This is what allows you to play on your opponent's turn and you can actually recycle this field spell, which is really cool. So you don't even have to ever play more than one. And then, of course, the Orcus Crescendo, which is an insane, like, it's one of the best counter traps that ever really came out for an archetype. It negates and it banishes, which is just... And all you really have to do is control an Orcus Link monster. That's all you have to do. You get to negate the activation and banish from a spell, trap, or monster effect. Um, really, really good. Uh, and then you can banish it from the graveyard and then add one Dark Machine monster that is banished uh, or in your deck. Which is really good. Uh, then for the extra deck, we play Levier. It lets us get our banished cards back. Dante lets us mill a little bit. We do play some level 3s, especially with like the dangers are level 3. So you do have some level 3s. Uh, Dingirsu, obviously one of the most important cards in the deck. Divine Arsenal, Zeus, because uh, it does come up sometimes. Not often, but sometimes it does come up. Uh, the Galatea, of course. Play two Galateas. we got to max out. Uh, got to play as many as we can. Scrap Wyvern. Uh, IP Mascarena is really important, too, because you can usually end on her, and then during your opponent's turn, you can go into, like, Unicorn and then spin something back that your opponent controls, discarding another Orcus card. And then you can, of course, like, make a Mech Knight on your opponent's turn that can't be destroyed by card effects, plus it can be targeted. Uh, you can make an Appaloosa. Like, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. Lib is really important also. It's one of the kind of quieter support cards that we got for this deck. Like I mentioned before, Nightmare Unicorn, Long Gear Sue. Unfortunately, the, the Link 4 for this archetype isn't really that good, so we play other Link 4s instead. But Long Gear Sue actually does come up sometimes. Uh, Orchestron is not that good, but um, Link, uh, Long Gears was still pretty good. We've got Saryuja, Easy Draw 4, Mech Knight Crusader, Avermax, Appaloosa, and Underworld Goddess because this basically outs every single thing that we can out. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a very, very strong deck. Easy pick uh, for the... For the event again, what I would what I would or what I would recommend is just play whatever you guys have, and then just you don't try to craft too many cards. Uh, basically, the best decks to play are the ones that you already have, and if you played some of the some of the solo mode you actually do get a large amount of the cards for free completely for free which is really awesome so probably the best recommendation if you're a budget player is probably just to play zombies you buy one structure deck and then you play the sharonui solo mode and then you get a you basically get a a sharonui deck out of that you combine those two and that's probably the best like budget option for you uh, but if there's any decks that you guys think i missed let me know in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching la, 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 la.